Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 secrets cruise ships don't want you to know. Whether you've been on a cruise ship or have just seen them on TV, you were likely intrigued. Well, as it turns out, there are some fascinating secrets that cruise ships wish you didn't know. Whether you plan to go on a cruise, know someone who is, or just like to know what people don't want you to, then you have to see these insane facts. But first, hop onto SS Top 10s by subscribing and pressing the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10s we have Prism. We all know that pirate ships back in the past were horrible places. From the poop deck to the brig they weren't exactly anyone's idea of luxury. But of course modern day cruise ships are nothing like that, right? Well not exactly, you see most cruise ships do actually have what is known as a brig on board. For those not in the know, a brig is basically a prison of the sea. That's right, cruise ships have jails just like in your local town. While people are on a cruise ship it can take hours until they reach anywhere with a town and a ton of cops. The people are like a small community, and we all know that people in communities can sometimes go a little overboard, pardon the pun. So if someone has one too many cocktails and gets a little rowdy, then the brig may come into use. The size and age of the ship usually dictates the conditions of the brig. If it's a smaller or newer ship, then a cabin near the front of the ship is usually assigned to the brig. This will be a regular small cabin with no furniture except for a bed. But if you're in a larger or older ship, then it will resemble a real prison cell with metal bars and everything. So while a cruise ship environment may be fun, it is not a lawless land, and you could find yourself thrown in the brig if you misbehave. Next up is join the crew. When I say you should join the crew on a cruise ship, I don't mean you should apply for an actual job on board. What I mean is you should try and mingle your way into the crew. To do this, you don't have to throw a crew member overboard and steal their uniform. Don't worry. You see, during the night, cruise ship crews are expected to dress in regular clothing to mingle and party with the guests. However, if you get chummy with enough crew members, you can actually make it look like you're a crew member, which entitles you to a lot of perks. One is that crew members get huge discounts and sometimes even free drinks. So if you play it cool and hang with the crew by the bar, then you could save your yourself quite a bit of cash. The crew also have their own bar which is much more private and far cheaper. They can go here to unwind and get drinks for a dollar at the most or sometimes even free. If you make friends with the crew they do allow some people to come down to their exclusive bar so get chummy. It's also an excellent idea to befriend the crew because they pretty much control the ship you and everybody else is on. Be sure to be nice to them and get you into their memory. This can be a real asset if you ever have a problem on board or if you get into trouble it can be someone to vouch for you. Next up is Dead Space. On a cruise ship, anything can happen. We all know the joke that many elderly people enjoy cruises, and when you're out to sea with thousands of elderly people and no hospitals nearby, this can sometimes prove difficult. You see, many people actually pass away while on cruises. I don't mean from falling in or the ship sinking, but some people, especially the elderly, can pass away from natural causes on the ship. If this happens, the guests are not notified, and the bodies move to the onboard moor. That's right, cruise ships have their own temperature-regulated body storage spaces on every boat. It's usually in the crew only area and is one of the few rooms on the ship under lock and key. You might think that the ship would make a special stop to drop off the body or at least drop it off along the way. However, this is not what happens and the body's only dropped off at the final port of call. So even if you don't live to see it, you'll still travel your entire distance on the cruise ship before being dropped off. The reason why they do this is to not cause any interruptions to the planned activities and the times of when the ship needs to arrive and leave from areas. It's all planned out in advance and the morgue allows the bodies to be kept at the right temperature to allow them to do this. So you could be sharing your beautiful cruise experience with the dead as well as the living without you even knowing. Next up is secret codes. So we know guests aren't told when somebody passes away on the ship, but how do the crew let each other know this without ruining the guests time on board? Well there's a selection of codes that crew members use to say all kinds of things that they don't want the passengers to hear. One code is cones, and that's what they call guests. This is because passengers often don't have sea legs like the crew and usually walk very slowly and carefully around the ship. This means that most of the time the crew have to walk around people when they're trying to get somewhere on the ship. Another code is V. You might have already been able to guess this as it's actually the same code they use at Disneyland. V of course stands for vomit, which is what happens to many passengers who aren't used to being at sea. So if you hear a crew member saying code V at a location, then this means someone has thrown up there and it needs to be cleaned up. And finally, code P, which stands for past, which usually refers to a guest passing away. This is what needs to be said so that crew members can escort a body onto the onboard morgue. So now you'll be able to hear all the things they don't want you to know on board. And if you lean over the crew only bar and tell them you had to deal with the code P today, expect a rather large free drink. Next up is all uninclusive. We all know that most of the time cruise ships are what's called all inclusives. This means you pay one time before getting on board and then never again during your trip. But a lot of the time that's simply a marketing tagline and there are many things not included in an all inclusive cruise. You really have to look at the fine print because some things like onboard spa treatments and classes for your kids can cost a ton of money. Even shore excursions at ports of call can cost more money even if you choose not to get off the ship. And another hidden expense is gratuities which are charged to your account every single day. 
This means you don't even have to think about it and means you can lose track of what you spend. If your cruise is going through the Panama Canal, this costs the cruise company around $300,000. And this cost is usually split amongst the guests, averaging out to around $45 a head. And cruise ships also never bring enough toilet paper to make more money. So if you ever need more toilet paper on board, this comes at a cost. So don't think there's a one-time payment and then you can live freely on your cruise, as it's almost never like this. Next up is Secret Pool. We've already covered staff perks such as bar discounts and even special secret bars they have, but they're not the only places the crew can go to unwind. Of course, the crew does have a break room like any other workplace, but they also have something secret that's located at the front of the ship. At the front of most cruise ships will be a small circular thing. This is actually a crew hot tub built just for them. It's usually better than the regular hot tubs for passengers as it's large and state of the art. So while you might have a coffee and a smoke during your work break, crew members get to relax in a hot tub. The funny thing is, everybody sees it in pictures of cruises and even when they get on and off the ship. However, people don't get to see it up close as it's in the crew's private staff only area. Yeah, no matter how friendly you get with the crew, the chances are they won't allow you to come aboard the secret hot tub as it's strictly for staff. It's one of the only places staff have to unwind, so the policy is no cones allowed. Next up is unlocked. As I said before, the morgue door remains locked. However, this is actually one of the few doors on cruise ships that are. It may surprise you to hear this, but almost no doors on cruise ships are actually allowed to lock. They don't make them to lock in case of an emergency. So if you're feeling curious, you could sneak around the whole ship at night and explore areas where most won't go. You can't go to some places in the day, but at night, no crew are around to stop you. Some people have found some pretty amazing stuff on board cruise ships doing this, and it can just be fun exploring the massive ship that you're on. So feel free to test the waters and explore a cruise ship if you like. Next up is adults only. We all know that cruise ships are very entertainment heavy. They have bars, pools, and even casinos on some ships. But with all that entertainment are thousands of passengers. This can make an entire area fill up pretty quickly and mean that sometimes you can't even get a deck chair by the pool. But some frequent cruise goers have discovered a cruise ship life hack that allows them to get a poolside chair 100% of the time. Instead of going to the regular pool, they simply inquire about an adults only pool. Most ships have this away from the main pool hidden in a quieter area. They're usually less crowded because either people don't know about them or because families can't go there. You have to be over 18 to enter, but if you are, then this means you can get a deck chair by the pool and find the best spot almost always. Even if your ship looks like it doesn't have an adults only pool, it's probably just tucked away somewhere, so be sure to ask a crew member about it. Next up is Freebie. Now cruises sound pretty good, right? The only downside is they're very expensive, sometimes costing thousands of dollars. But what if I told you there's a way to get your very own cruise for free? All you have to do is offer your lecturing services. What this involves is teaching something to the guests on board. It could be something you went to college about or even a language you speak. So if you decided to lecture Spanish, people would pay the cruise ship for a lecture and you would do it and in return you get a cruise for free. Some lecturers only work for around one to two hours a day, so it's well worth it to save thousands of dollars. If your cruise is picking up people from another country, then you could simply volunteer to lecture English or whatever language you speak. The best way to do this is to call the cruise entertainment office and inquire before your cruise. You never know, but that one little phone call could end up saving you thousands of dollars. Vacations are always enjoyable, but I bet you'd enjoy it much more if you knew it was all for free. Next up is staff treatment. You may be thinking they have it pretty good with the discounts, secret pools, and free bars. But remember, this is only for the crew that's involved with the guests. There are plenty of other jobs on board who do not get recognition or perks. You see, most cruises are not regulated by American labor laws, and they don't shy away from taking advantage of this. Only a quarter of cruise ship employees are American, and those who are usually get the jobs which are called visible jobs. Visible jobs meaning crew members who interact with the guests. Most other employees hail from countries with very low wages and maybe only pay around $400 a month. Also, all crew members have to work seven days a week. Some work a full day every day, while others just work for a couple of hours a day. It depends on the job you do, but remember to be nice to the staff, as their conditions may not be that of the USA. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most amazing secret on this list. And guys, be sure to check out my second channel, The Crafty. There'll be a link to a crafty video coming up on screen in a second, so click it and subscribe too. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.